you really don't want to be out in this. The best it gets. Only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Old. Get your bloody nose off the lens. Hey, it's uh, Saturday 26th. It's Monday. I think we'll start that one again. I'm not sure which one will be the most tasty. They're still, they are moving about. Actually, it's not so bad. I recommend them, but next time I'm frying them off. All good stuff. All good stuff. But it crapped in the bottom. So, welcome back to Bulgarian Organic Small Holding. It's Friday, 27th of April, about 12:30 uh, hours. A lovely hot day today. Maybe reach as high as 29, but uh, we'll see. Shouldn't be that hot in about 1500 hours. Anyway, got caught out a little bit. Got a telephone call an hour or so ago because I've been asking my vet to source me some pigs and they have found me some pigs and so on Sunday I have to drive with my vet up to uh, Schumann which is about a couple of hours drive away from where we are and collect uh, four piglets uh, I think they're about 20 kilos uh, in weight but we'll see when we get there so that really caught us on the hop because we weren't exactly ready for them not fully ready so Timo the German machine has been uh, working like a machine and uh, knocking a few posts in so that they have at least a holding area when we bring them back or I bring them back with the vet on Sunday so they get uh, used to us and we get used to them before we'll move them down into bigger grazing areas where we want them to root out a lot of uh, unwanted stuff I'll try to keep this in some kind of sequence because I'll try to film the arrival at the farm wherever it is in Schumann and uh, getting the pigs into the back of the Neva that's going to be fun bringing them back and releasing them so it might be you know one or two stages for now I'm going to fade out and I'll fade back in and I'll show you how the Germans put posts in very quickly so these are pine uh, posts we bought in uh, Karnabat from the um, building suppliers we haven't had the opportunity to treat them in any way whatsoever we just don't have the time and if they last if we get four or five years out of them then fine we'll worry about it when they start to rot so this is the German way, or our way, of knocking in a post the quickest way possible. Okay, so now we're at uh, stage two. You saw us uh, hammering the post in. As I say, it's a temporary pig pen. It needs to be done. And obviously, fencing for pigs, the distance between the wires needs to be a lot closer than it would be for, for sheep, for example. So the next stage of the job, uh, which I'm going to do, is to drive in these insulators or isolators. I'm not actually sure what the correct terminology is. So I'll just uh, swing the camera around and I'll show you what I mean. So, what can we see? Uh, here we have a, a marker post and there are one at the bottom here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I have to put the, the wire on the inside. So I'll use this as my level. I mean to get my uh, insulators, isolators and uh, to do that of course I need the instruments so I have a standard uh, Makita drill with this special attachment that drives them in okay it's uh, I mean it's a battery operated uh, tool and the insulators basically if that will focus on that I'm not sure they work like that, that they support the um, wire so you can electrify it for electric fencing. And uh, basically, they, the ones that we buy look like this. And uh, it'll fit into, into here. 
and uh, using that marker post I will drive them in and then later the uh, the wire will will fit sit through this so it's completely this being the, the material it is the current will go through not a problem uh, we tried uh, earlier in one stage using a rebar armatura uh, but even with all the tape we we couldn't isolate it and it kept shorting out we need to 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 think rethink that one anyway that's what we got i'll uh, drive one in and i'll show you what it looks like when i finished it over and out for now One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there you have it. That's one post done. I have to do this all the way down the line, around the bottom. So yeah, it's time consuming, but it's got to be done. No point having four pigs and then losing them in the first week. So that's what's got to be done. Maybe I'll come back when I get the last post in. It's now uh, 1320, 120. Uh, I'm not, not in a great rush, but I need to get this job finished by five o'clock. A bit earlier, if ho hopefully. So there you go, open up for now. So whilst I'm uh, down there working with the fencing for the pig pen, Timo's up here working with the battle boss and uh, making a crate in the back so that uh, four 20 kilo piglets can uh, go in there without wrecking the car or without joining me in the front seat or licking my neck or even biting my neck so just knocked some um, uh, 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 shuttering. Uh, shuttering. shuttering boards yes coupage together a few bits of posts and it'll make a slot so I can slot these uh, parts in. So the idea is that the pigs go in there and we slot them in. The boot comes down and they're in. They'll get air because I'll have the front windows open. And unless something on towards happens, it's only a two hour journey. And uh, this is some kind of uh, waterproof material here, which we use for covering the tractor. It's actually for the big advertising board you see on the motorways in Bulgaria. This is the material they use, they print on it so they can you know defecate and uh, urinate and do what they need to do in there and it's not going to uh, foul up my car any more than it's already fouled up anyway because it's always full of crap so there you have it so there you go another piece going in so you see as i said it was a fast ball and uh, when you get a fast ball you have to hit back hard so this is the way it goes it's uh, not exactly High accuracy, chainsaw use and not a handsaw use, it doesn't matter. Okay, there's the update on that, over and out for now. So, uh, it's now uh, 14.40, 20 minutes to 3. Looks like there's a bit of a storm coming in, they said there'd be thunderstorms later, so we need to, to crack on. And uh, whilst uh, Timor was uh, fitting the, the crate in the back of the Neva to transport the uh, animals, uh, I finished uh, doing the, um, the insulators or isolators on all the posts. So I'm just going to switch around. So start up there. Okay, they're a bit drunk, but as I say, it's a temporary, it was a quick job. So they come all the way down here and around, and they'll come around here to there. Timo's just gone up there with the uh, brush cutter because obviously um, if the grass touches the uh, the bottom strand or any of the strands actually it'll just short out and you won't have an electric fence anymore it'll just uh, earth, earth out. So just to uh, show you what this post uh, we're knocking look like I mean they we buy them as I said in the um, builders merchants in Karnabat uh, they're untreated as far as I understand and uh, just sharpen them up with a chainsaw and they collect the cuttings because all of you survivalists will know that uh, pine is very good for starting fires it's, it lights quite nicely so 
here's the sty. Uh, this has been knocked up a few weeks ago. Timo made it as usual. Metal framed. A uh, nice sloping roof on it. Gives a bit of shade at the back. Uh, we're not going to put a uh, base in it because this uh, sty is a portable sty. We're going to move it around where we want it. Fixed it up so that um, can uh, fix it to chains in four corners and just lift it with the JCB it's not that heavy and we'll just take it to where we want it so we can move the pigs to where we want them and where they where there's plenty of shade for them and uh, we'll just put uh, straw hay or maybe even some not spoilt lucerne uh, in the bottom so they have a uh, nice bedding and we think they should be very happy in there hopefully we'll see you next week if I uh, get them on Sunday and uh, get them back in here without losing them There'll be a gate system. The idea is that I'll, I'll drive Maneva down the back of the house. Um, you've seen me drive away from here on the last uh, video. Uh, we clipped that we uploaded. So using this fencing panel, I have two of them. I got second hand from a guy in Yamble. And uh, we'll make a gate system, swing gate system, just on temporary. As Timo says, you know, these posts, um, they just you saw us knocking them all you saw him knocking them into the ground but we want to pull them out either a bit of rope or a bit of chain on the jcb and we just pull them straight out and we'll put them where we want and the same with these uh, insulators uh, you saw me uh, fitting them in and they come out just the same so we recycle these sometimes we fix them to trees um, so now we're going to wire uh, up and uh, i'll fade out and i'll fade back in a bit later when it's finished over now for now so here we are it's uh, almost 1600 hours um, we've had uh, a couple of beer breaks in between the jobs done today but uh, in principle the job is done so i'm just swinging around a little bit here timo is just uh, connecting the electric fence you see all now the wires are in and uh, we have a, a meter a special meter to measure the voltage going through there check if we're not uh, that we have a circuit at least on all all the lines certainly the lower lines and uh, my gate job is done just a matter of uh, going to the workshop and see what we got a few hooks so top and bottom hooks and over this side some uh, closed hooks with s ring and so you this this panel is very light you can just lift it off but you can swing it open it hinges enough to uh, get access, uh, pedestrian access at least, if not by a vehicle. So there you have it. So now, if I didn't say before, this uh, pig sty is uh, south facing. Uh, we're on a slope, of course, and this is only a temporary home for them till they get bedded in, so to speak, and they get used to us and we can move them about because eventually they're going down there and there is a lot of land down there over an acre acre and a bit down there for them to forage around in and as you see it's already going wild a lot of nettles down there and other stuff and uh, once the pigs have gone down there and started to clear out root out what they want then we can follow with the sheep so if this isn't uh, some form of permaculture whatever that means and i don't know but i don't know how you can have permaculture without animals so we have to wait now till Sunday. Uh, let's see what Sunday brings. Should be fun. Um, I'll have to deal with it here on my own with uh, Sasha because Timo's away for the weekend. That's fair enough. Uh, let's see how it works out. And then the next uh, project down there is the Back to Eden garden, which we're trying to work on. It's almost May. And if I don't get some tomatoes and some cucumbers in and uh, some different stuff it'll be too late but uh, I mean I won't be able to buy them that it's not won't be too late for us because we have an underground we will have an underground watering system which will explain when we get to that project let's work with the one we've got for now there's so many projects Mr. the chicken house is still there behind me it needs to be finished I wanted to get chickens in this year so now we've got fish down in the pond I mean some decent size uh, Sharan carp, edible carp. We have our four sheep, females and a ram. Hopefully they're pregnant. So hopefully later this year will be uh, new lambs coming. Uh, chickens I hope to get in. 
pigs are in the plan for Sunday and uh, now we're talking about some rabbits. Rabbits are always available, it's just uh, making the housing for them and again we don't want them in a, in a rabbit hutch in the dark all, the, all their life. We want them to be able to graze outside and be happy and you know that's you know that's my philosophy that yeah the animals are for breeding and eventually they'll end up in the freezer, somebody's freezer. But uh, whilst they live, they should be happy and free range. And they should get what everybody deserves, you know, a decent life. So there you have it. So not much more I can add for now. We have an hour to get showered, uh, get changed and uh, get off to the train station in Karnabat. I have uh, Timo going one way and uh, my wife coming the other. So he has some job to do there this weekend. Um, and good luck to him uh, fixing my garage but don't tell anybody okay over and out for now so you can probably hear this if it was uh, dark you'd see the sparks it's grounding out on the grass here so we thought we finished but we haven't um, we are getting voltage obviously but it's shorting out so we'll use uh, some of these um, uh, portable fiberglass poles we use just to lift it and also to push it down a little bit where there's uh, you know because the ground is not level where they could burrow underneath or they could get halfway underneath and get electric shock and decide to go forwards and not backwards so we'll just regulate it with these uh, fiberglass posts and that'll be it job done over and out hopefully the last time on this particular episode of the pig pen okay i said it was the last part it isn't the last part because i need to show the finished pig crate in the neva so we're going to get hopefully four 20 kilo piglets in here They'll be a bit cramped, but it's only for a couple of hours and the windows will be down unless it's peeing down a rain, which I doubt. So this will be their temporary transport. I don't think you can get any more safer than that. I am with a veterinarian at the end of the day, so he'll be pretty uh, astute if he thinks that the piglets are suffering. So there you have it. Job well done. Say hello. Hello. Uh -huh. There you go, over and out. Maybe finally for this chapter of the Pig Pen Project. Ciao.